Hey guys, Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to another video from the Golf Club 2. Today we're going to be doing some more recommendations. So we're going to jump straight into the first one and this one was recommended to me by somebody on, all I've got is the name from the YouTube recommendation or the YouTube comment and it is Carl1781 and he recommended a course called Memorial Park. Now I have got quite a long list of courses now so I'd like to say thank you very much to all those people that have recommended courses over the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, keep them coming because um, I'm going to try and do two or three courses per video and they will soon run out very quickly. So let's jump straight into this one. Um, let me just pop it in here. So it's called Memorial Park. So let's just pop this in. Let's put Memorial, that should be good enough. Oh, there's quite a lot of Memorials here. Let's have a look, see if we can find Memorial Park. Good evening, Jack. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome back to the stream, fella. Memorial Park, there it is there. That looks like it. 218 plays. I would imagine that is it. So let's jump straight into this one. And we have Coastal Royalty. Good afternoon. Good evening, Dwayne. And Coquicoco is here. Good day, Tim. Um, was just reminiscing with the Meet the Creator series with TGC1. Yeah, that was good, that was. I enjoyed doing that. Um, especially the... Um, where I actually got to speak to Brian, who Brian Cowles, who does all the Yeti courses. All right, let's do Memorial Park. Uh, what pins and tees are we going to select? Let's select the white tees, of course. It's the longest tee set. And I've been, uh, somebody pointed out the other day that I normally just select pin set one, and that's because that's pure laziness, just select it because it's the one that is the default at the top, but for the purposes of this one, let's select pin set three. And if anybody's watching this in the Twitch stream, we've got a few people in here already. If you want to join in on this round, you're more than welcome to. I just see uh, Petulio, Matt is just joined. So Matt, welcome along, thank you for joining us. If you want to join, jump in on this round, you're more than welcome. If you're not working or doing other stuff, excuse me, I'm just going to take a, a drink in my cup of tea. You guys know that I always grab a cup of tea before I start playing. And we've got uh, Hellsfire JP, welcome along. Good evening, welcome back to the stream was watching the one with Knotty Pines. Ah, I did a few of those, so. Okay, so this is Memorial Park. As I say, this was recommended to me by Carl1781 in my YouTube comments. I'm not entirely sure whether this is a based on a real course. It looks like it could be, but um, that is just a guess. What is that thing? there. I'm going to just have a quick look because that is intriguing. He's put all the signs here. Please keep carts 15 feet from the greens. Danger deep water. Please replace the divots and please replace ball mark, repair ball marks. You're not late, Vlad. I am on the first tee, my friend. So you've actually joined bang on time. And for those of you that have just joined the Twitch stream, welcome along. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining me. This is some more playing some recommendations. This is uh, Memorial Park was recommended to me by Carl1781 on the YouTube comments. So um, yeah, so far so good. It looks like some kind of a uh, city or municipal course. There is one more slot in my game if somebody wants to join. I've got Fosty73 in here and SportsGeek16. So if anybody wants to, uh, if anybody wants to to jump in, you're more than welcome. 
All right, we've got 11 mile an hour. I think that should be about right, to be honest. Oh, the greens are quite hard. The greens are quite firm. And Z the G, welcome along, my friend. Nice to see you back in the stream. All right, it's slightly uphill, slightly to the right. How fast are these greens? I didn't think to check. 160, they're not too bad. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. And Fosty hits the flag. Didn't quite drop though, so he's going to be picking up his par. Have we got a full house? No, we're still on three. As I say, if anybody else wants to join, you're more than welcome. This reminds me a bit of, um, what was the first tournament that I played? Is it um, Faxon? Faxon, the, uh, the TGC one? Faxon Park Golf Club or something? Reminds me a little bit of that. Spent some time putting those buildings in, I'll tell you that much. Faxon Park, thank you, Jack. Nice big green there, 177, 183, 193. Mr. Joey Man, welcome along my friend. Nice to see you back in the stream. Right, one second. We're not, myself and Fosty are not incredibly close. Turn, turn, turn. Ooh, not bad. Hey Brian, how you doing my friend? Well scored on this week's, or uh, well, the first of this, uh, of two events this week. Well scored. Um, I see you shot somewhere around 19 under I think it was. So uh, you're right up there on the first page of the leaderboard. All going well. Right, just going to add that uh, that friend request. Just give me a second, guys. I've just seen a friend request come in. Got a couple here, so just going to accept these. Just give me a second, guys. All right, that's done now. There we go. All right, nine mile an hour. Lots and lots of room in this fairway. Does the event end at midnight tonight? I think it ends, if I remember correctly, I set them up at about 8 a.m. my time. So it will probably be um, It'll, yeah, it'll probably be, depending on where you are in the States, but it's, it's probably about 8 a.m. tomorrow morning here in the UK. Right, 142, 144, 134. Sounds like somebody just hit the flag. Was that you, Fosty? Yeah. Did he go in? No, he's right on the edge. Yeah, if you haven't got your rounds in, guys, you better get them in tonight. And it looks like we've got Hammy in here as well now, so nice. This definitely plays like a real course. I do like it. The attention to detail is really nice. 
four pars on the bounce though, so not uh, not ripping it up yet. Yeah, I couldn't tell you much about um, about Lee's um, society. Unfortunately, I have vacated all societies apart from the True North at the minute. I just find it's it's. There's an awful lot of cheating going on at the minute, and um, it is a bit disappointing, to be honest. Oh, I just want to get this on the green. Looks like, is that a church? Yeah, it looks like he's put like gravestones over there. Yeah, look at that wall. He's put a big crucifix there as well. That's great that he's actually managed to spend the time doing that. Just missed that one as well. Mr. Joey Man, this is where I got my first hole in one. Nice, it's a nice course, I like it so far. Fifty-six, one fifty-five. Why is it giving me that club then? Does it know something I don't? And Fosty has just hit the flag again. He's going to have to put that keyboard away soon. That's the first birdie. Yes, yeah, so I've just gone one under par. This was a great recommendation. I am loving this course. And it's not because I'm ripping it up because I'm five holes in and I'm only one under par. So it's by no means a, uh, a push over this course it is um, it's still tough but it's um, it is really really nice really nice I was gonna say I felt like I pulled that should hold the fairway yep not gonna be under the tree either Okay, that's a pretty good approach. That should, should, this is a par five. Yeah, that should be a birdie. Yeah, that's good. Right, so back to back birdies. That Frosty should get his. He should be in for his bird. Yeah, and Sports Geek and Hammy at both at one under par. How much can we take on of this with the driver? We definitely get some yardage here. Ooh. Sports Geek went a little bit wayward. Let's 
least we know he's not cheating. little too far and I pulled that as well damn in for the par that's perfectly fine Brian our tour clubs just better because of the distance that is the only thing that they're better at Long par five here, 600 odd yards. And everybody is pretty much gonna be in the same place. There we go, three balls in a row. Sportskeep must have got a fast on that because he went off to the right. Right, 185. I'm going to be using the pitch shot, I think. See if we can get this in there. A little bit right. But it's pin high. That's six or seven feet, six feet. Three under par. No reds on here at the moment. Everybody's going along really nicely at the moment. But it may all change. So Matt, if you're still in the stream, my friend, the second course that I'm doing this evening is one that you recommended to me. So um, just so you know that I have taken note of the comment that you left on YouTube and I will be playing the course that you recommended shortly after this one. like a keyboard scorecard. <laughs> and that was not the best pitch shot in the world. That could have been an awful lot closer. We both missed that one. Yeah, somehow I don't think Matt would recommend a crappy course to me. Um, I think he knows the courses that I like to play and I don't think he would go so far as to recommend a crap course. This course, I tell you what, this course is absolutely excellent. I can't get over how good this course is. 180 into the wind, so we need 190 yards here. Good. 
Yeah, I try and avoid the Mickey Mouse courses at all costs. Yeah, Caramel Creek, that's uh, that's another one that is absolutely fantastic. And that one will feature in um, the True North Golf Society later in the season. another par so still still at three under par Fosty's pulled away a little bit I mean look at that for a flipping water feature I mean come on guys <laughs> that's some work on there that really is some work that's a lighthouse isn't it that's incredible oh dear sports geeks just got wet Did he try and take on too much of that? How much can we take on? That was not good. Yeah, that is, uh, that's difficult, that is. No, that's me in the drink, and that's exactly what I shouldn't have done. Oh, dear. Okay, so probably not going to get the par here unless I can get this really close. So this is stroke six, so this is for the bogey and I've missed that as well. So that's going to be a double on a par five. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Ha, ah, need a kick up the backside for that. I think I might have chosen the three wood there because those guys went way past me off the tee. 135, 145. Uh, I haven't played it tonight, Crispy Bacon, but I have played both rounds today. Why? Oh, all right. I shot uh, two rounds of 17 under par. And the lead was short-lived because I think the lead is now 23 under par, I think. Mm. 
Well, the scores on the leaderboards, Dwayne, are net scores. So it works it all out for you. The leads now 24 under par. Um, yeah, it works it all out for you. So I don't think you need to do anything. I think the leaderboard is all exactly as it should be. Seven seventy two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, what's the guy that's got twenty? 24 under par what handicap is he playing off because if he's playing off like a minus 10 he is going to be scoring that well um, but I don't I didn't I didn't have a look at it to be honest best round now actually. Five one under par through fourteen. The double knocked uh, knocked the stuffing out of me a bit there. His handicap is four point nine. Yes, if it's four point nine it's negative four point nine. So that means He's getting five shots on the field for a start, so his 12 under par is, yeah, if he shot a 12 under par, it's effectively a net, well, a gross eight under par. Jack, I'm perfectly fine, mate. Do I seem glum tonight? Do I seem glum to anybody else? Just a little bit tired, I suppose, fella. I'm uh, just a bit knackered, that's all. Yeah, I'd take the handicap system. Uh, I'd take the handicap system with a pinch of salt because I, I do think it's um, it is still a little bit broken. But yeah, I mean the thing is, is that I'm, I'm, we're sort of caught between a rock and a hard place because I feel like I I needed to run the second season I feel like it needed to be handicapped because of all the crap that's going on at the minute but um, I know the handicap system's broken so what do you do do you just leave it unhandicapped and then you're going to get the people the same people over and over and over again that are going to be winning the events or do you actually give the other people a chance and make it handicapped but the handicap system is broken I don't know I don't know what to do but um, I'll put something out there, guys. You know, it's entirely up to you guys whether you want to play it or not. I suppose I, I am just a little bit. I don't. I mean, I'm not glum. I'm still enjoying playing the game. I'm enjoying doing these um, these recommendations. Somebody asked me to have a look at a course earlier and um, give him some feedback and some advice, and I thoroughly enjoy playing that one. It's not quite finished yet, so. Um, I played that round and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm enjoying playing this one. I just I just think I'm a little bit disillusioned with the whole game at the minute. Um, yeah, and I'm going to call it a game before somebody calls me out on that as well. I, I do, I, I'm just feeling that HP Studios are not coming to the party really. They really need to be doing more.
I mean, I feel like I am swinging the club really nicely at the moment. It's just um, every now and again, I get a little bit fast or a little bit slow, goes a bit wayward, but for the best part, I'm enjoying playing the game. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the only other thing to do to try and make the, to try and make the society a bit tougher. But I feel that we're going to lose a lot of people if we start adding things like uh, no wind dial, no green grids and all of those kind of things. It, um, it's, it is going to cause, you're going to lose people out of the society. So there's no real sort of answer to it at the moment. It is a bit of a, I'm in a bit of a quandary as what to do right now. Um, I'm just letting season two play out as it is for the time being um, and then I'll decide what, oh we'll see what it's like, I mean season two runs until pretty much until October so I've got a long long time to, uh, well HP Studios have got a long long time to sort of stuff out, um, hopefully we'll get another couple of updates before the end of season two. Very, very quiet. Am I quiet? Is the microphone quiet tonight? Is it probably because I was a little further away from it tonight? Is that better? All right, 12 mile an hour. One, ooh, this is a tough one. Yeah, Matt says it sounds fine. All right, let's see if this wind takes this ball all the way in. How's the lie? Perfect. That should be near the flag. Yeah. He means you aren't talking like normal, but maybe wrong. Yeah. Sorry if I sound down, guys. I'm not. Um, I'm not down. I'm just. I suppose I'm just a little introspective tonight. All right. What have we got to finish? Stroke index one, hardest hole on the course. This course isn't yet handicapped, but I would suggest, guys, go and play this if you haven't played it. This was a recommendation to me. I'm going to stick this right up there with one of my, you know, with my favourite courses. I don't think it's quite up there with Wintergreen, but it is an absolute awesome course to play. Um, it's an absolute feast on the eyes as well. So do yourselves a favour, guys. Get out there and play this one. Uh, you definitely won't regret it. I didn't even think to check the club I was with there, but I would imagine it was the five iron. Yeah. I don't think I've hit that. Ah, no. Yeah, bummed in the UK is something slightly different, Joey. So uh, we'll leave it there. So I had this glitch a little bit earlier, guys. I don't know if you guys have had this before. I went to press rate the course and I couldn't move this thing along. Has anybody else had that? And then when I tried to actually move this bar to get out of the game, it was locked on the rate this course, but I couldn't do anything. But I'm going to give that five stars, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed that. All right. I am going to start a party now, guys. So if anybody that is wanting to play the next round and join in the party, um, you're more than welcome to. Just let me know if you're in the game and you want to, make, you want to join the party. I'm going to make the party private, so I will need to invite you in. 
So um, let me know if you want to join the next round and also the party and I will send you an invitation to the party. Um, okay, so the next course is one that was recommended to me by Matt Smith. So for those of you that know, Petulio, he is in the chat at the moment. He's in the Twitch stream right now. And it is Mandolin Walk. So let's get this one in here. Um, I believe, well, Matt said this one is pretty good. So I am taking him on his word. Um, and as he said, he doesn't tend to, he knows I, I'm not a big fan of the Mickey Mouse courses. All right, so... Dwayne wants to join. So there we go. Mandolin Walk Golf and Country Club. 106 plays. Medium, fast, firm. All right. Let's get an invitation across to Dwayne. There we go. Jack played this one with me. It was good. All right, cool. So, Jack, you've played this one. Good evening, Dwayne. Good evening, Tim. How are you, sir? Not bad. Yourself, fella? Uh, doing great. Just been uh, trying to keep up with the... Uh, tournament on the website today trying to keep that going think it's doing pretty well I've done it about every two hours so trying to keep everybody updated with that cool I see um, I was having a look at the Ryder Cup registrations a little bit earlier today the American team is almost full Wow so if Anybody else wants to register for the online Ryder Cup, the True North Golf Society Ryder Cup, virtual Ryder Cup that we'll be running in the middle of September, then go over to the website. I'm sure Jack will chuck it in the, um, in the Twitch comments. It is www.truenorthgolfsociety.weebly.com. If anybody wants to go over there, click on the Clubhouse link in the navigation bar and head down to Virtual Rider Cup. You'll find a form on there once you check the eligibility criteria, make sure that you're eligible to play. Fill in the registration form and then once the captains are selected and um, myself and Dwayne have gone through the um, gone through the registrations we will then let people know who's been selected to play the Europeans are looking a little bit light at the moment so if anybody wants to join from the European perspective then uh, head over to the site and fill in the registration form the red the Europeans are we we have somebody that's um, registered an interest to be the captain of the Europeans but I think the Europeans are around about five or six strong at the moment so a little bit light to be honest now, Tim, on with with the Ryder Cup, um, I think we probably should have a pretty good set a uh, date where we're going to close applications uh, for uh, getting those turned in. I didn't know if we wanted to do it through the entire month of August and then like make the announcement um, of captains that like September first, and then um, make the announcement of the teams like the day after, so they would have time to practice. Yeah, um, I mean, I think we will do that. I think it's all going to depend on the uptake. Um, so I need to make just make sure that we've got enough people before we close out the invita close out the the registrations. Because uh, obviously, if we haven't got we haven't got a full complement on both teams, then um, we're going to have to leave it open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah, I think, I mean, we'll put a tentative date in there as the uh, the 31st of August. Um, and 
see how we go. I mean, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we, uh, you know, if everybody that is um, is doing videos, yourself and uh, Martin and Lee, and I mean, I know Lee hasn't registered to play as yet. I mean, I don't know whether he's going to be joining or what. So uh, he'll, uh, as long as those guys are actually letting everybody know as well, that'll be cool. Uh, James, have you got the stream? Have you got the stream on still? Can you just turn the volume down? Cool. No, it's just uh, we could. I can hear my own voice in the background there. <laughs> um, have you got your party chat um, set up to be shared, James? Yeah, just pop into your your party settings. Yeah, I did see he was right up there. Uh, James, if you just go to the party settings. So if you click on the PS button and just go up to party. And then go party settings. There is a checkbox that says um, allow your voice to be shared. And then just select always allow. The guys in the Twitch stream say they can't, they can't hear you at the moment, so... I believe I've played this already once. It's a really nice course, if I remember correctly. I think Matt and I played it. Yeah, I'm just going to have to drop some guys out of my group. Apologies for that, guys. It's just I need to get... Um, I need to get a ham... Okay? Um, all right, so can the guys in the uh, in the Twitch stream hear James now? Hello, hello, hello. Check, check, check. No? Uh, I'm just waiting for them to respond. Ah. Uh, Matt will probably tell us because he's the one that said he couldn't hear you. Matt, can you hear James yeah. in the Twitch stream now? Yeah, cool. They've I got you. Hear. They've got you. You can, yeah. Yeah, cool. I can hear Matt. <laughs> yeah, you won't hear Matt. Matt's not in the stream, but he's he can ah. hear you. He can hear you in the Twitch. Sorry, he's not in the party, but he can hear you in oh, the Twitch right. stream. Okay. Yeah. Um, you if you're in the party. Are you in the um, Are you in the round yet, James? No. All right. Um, let me. Do you need a notification? Yep, please. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's just uh, send you a notification. There we go. There we go. Are you you just teed off, haven't you, uh, Dwayne? Yes, I have. Mandeling walk, but I'll wait now. That's cool. And it is. And I've done about forty ghost balls today. So. Wow. I won't go into it any more than that, just to let you know. <laughs> How many of them have you found were uh, suspect? Four. Believe it or not, just one. Just the one that I showed you. All right. Uh, we're playing on the back tees, which I think are blue. Um, and we are playing pin set four. Four. All right. Again, round. All right, just got to wait to find you in here to add you to the group. That's it, just loading up now. In fact, I will tee off and then it should drop you into my round. Mm. All right, I'm away. Right alongside Dwayne. In fact, about a foot away from you, fella. <laughs> <laughs> Four. <laughs> yeah. All right. What do we have? Six feet down here. Ooh, look at this green. Wow.
Guess I got to get it on that back plateau. Yeah. Are you on the um? Mm. Are you in the course yet? Ah, uh, there you are. Yeah. Add to group. Ah, cool. I've got you now. I love Glasgow. Nice. That, that, that's your badge, yeah. <laughs> it does indeed. That yeah, you do not want to be on the lower level on that green. No. All right, going. All right, I'm going in. Full speed ahead. <laughs> oh. Get up off that. Oh shoot. I made so it up. Far. I've rolled out the back. Uh, Timmer, how are you going to stream the Ryder Cup, or is it not possible if you're not playing in it? Um, uh. I think, I think I will probably play in it, um, and I am not going to play in it. So I am going to be streaming most matches just by playing rounds with the two guys. Yeah, so and just staying out of their way. He will. Um, he will be. Dwayne will be doing, or Coaster Royalty will be doing a lot of ad administration on there. So he will be sort of mm -hmm. uh, monitoring and checking that it's all running properly and whatnot. So um, I'll probably be playing, but the scores will be going up. And then anybody else that's playing as well, you know, I think uh, Martin has applied to be on the um, European team, so he may well stream. <coughs> um, if there's any Americans that... Um, Ah oh, damn! I've just overhit that, and I'm down the slope now. Ah oh, damn it! I'm too busy talking. Um, <laughs> if anybody else that gets chosen to play wants to stream, they're more than welcome to as well. I'm going to end up with a double bogey here. I think. Mm. I was um, nine yards away. I'm now twenty-three yards away. Cutting for everybody. And a three. Oh, right, I've got a double. Yep. Double start, not oh, very good. Oh no, I haven't made it up the slope. This is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm further away than I was the first time. Yeah, for something I remember when we were playing this with uh, Matt, that, that the um, <laughs> the uh, greens are not the best. Thing is, I said to him, I hope this isn't a Mickey Mouse course. And he says, no, it's not a Mickey Mouse course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think, I think the greens kind of are, if I'm not mistaken. The thing yeah. is, I couldn't have hit a better approach shot. It literally just rolled past the flag and then rolled out the back. So I had to play a chip. To Granted, I was a little heavy handed on the chip coming back. But um, yeah, wow, you got a birdie there. I did. Mine stayed up on that plateau. Yeah, mine didn't. Mine rolled off. That is. Oh a boy, I'm going to be way short on this one. Wow. Skinny little landing area. Yeah, and it's you've got to get it up on the top of that plateau. Again, is it another one of those? Yeah. <laughs> Is that where you put your tee shot? Yeah. yeah, it is indeed. Oh no, that's um, that's Hell's Fire. He's balls in the hole. Sorry, I thought somebody stuck it right next to the hole. Managed to get my par. Par safe for the bunker. Nice, those are always good. Yeah, to be honest with you, I think it's just the greens that are a bit daft, to be fair. The rest mm. looks okay. Oh, I just got a terrible swing glitch there. Absolutely oh awful. Luckily, I'm right behind you. Luckily well, enough, you still got out there pretty yeah, good ways. It didn't. Uh, I got a perfect oh. fast, but it's still out there. Hmm. 
Perfect fast again. Oh, God. Perfect slow. Do you Big bounce. Go. <laughs> That's going to be down the stinking hill. <laughs> Sit. Oh, are you kidding me? There it goes. Oh, oh, I just lipped out on a 47 foot putt. Ah, oh, for Eagle. And I've just missed the birdie. What the actual hell is going on with me tonight? Unbelievable. Not too now. Oof. Not having a good round at all yet. No. I need to have a look where the flag is. Yeah. The thing is, you don't want to be. You don't want to be far left, uh, far right, because the flag's tucked around right around that right-hand corner. I'm going to try and take some of this corner on. My round can't get any worse, let's put it that way. <laughs> oh, not perfect slow again. Oh, oh. oh go ball, go. Tag on it. Get away with that. 6159. Good either. What the hell is going on with me tonight? I'm getting so many glitches on the frame rate. Jesus, I didn't even see that go in. The glitches were so bad, all I heard was the ball go in the hole. I chipped it in. But it, it it glipped it glitched about three times midair. Got it. Yes. Nope. Ah. Did you get the bird? Yes, I did. Nice. Are you Let's struggling to two under. Are you struggling a bit there, James? I am, yes. Did you? Where is that oh. flag? See, I'm, rel I'm not even, I don't think I'm going to take my driver here because I think I'm going to put myself out of position. It's a long par four where they were, they're making you hit the ball too. Yeah. Yeah, but if you yeah, that's the thing. If you take the if you take the three wood, it allows you to stare straight down towards the green. The driver takes you out of position. Yeah, you played exactly where you played further along than I. You take that a little bit more of the corner on. Mm. Yeah, but the pin's on the left side, so it's actually not too bad. Again, I'm literally just trickling onto the green and then trickling off again. Fast, perfect, not good. Well, I don't know what just happened there. I'm in the bunker. Oh, I got away with that. Oh, well, that's a great shot. That is. That's a great shot. That's a fast, perfect, isn't it? Oh, obviously, it wasn't that great. I think I've hit that too hard. Oh, don't roll too far past. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus, I've just hit it past again. This is another bogey, at least. That's what I got. I picked up a bogey. I ended up in the bunker. I'm getting hit a really so bad bunker shot. So much lag. It's not even funny. I'm having to take like three practice swings just to make sure it doesn't lag when I go and hit the ball. Mm. Back to plus two. So not going well at the minute. And this is my worst nightmare because those bloody bunkers are just play right into the hands of my fade. Yeah. I've even put a bit of drawer on I that. I don't think, <laughs> unless you fade it really bad, I don't think it's going to get there, Tim. No, it's all right. I just faded mine. I put some drawer on it just to try and counteract it a bit to make sure I didn't end up in the crap. That's a good drive. You're way up there. You're going to have a hard time seeing the pin over there. No, it's, it's, um, I've got a lot of green to work with here. Ah, okay, good. Okay. Doesn't mean doesn't mean I'll get it close, mine. <laughs> There's a bad slope just before the bunker there. On the left hand side. Yeah. All right, that needs I'm a, little... a little bit of lag myself. That's that twice in a row that I've had lag on my backswing. And it ended up in the bunker again. This is ridiculous. Just had lag again on my putt. Oh man, this is actually getting a bit tedious now. You know what? It always tends to be at about 9 o'clock at night. Man, that was a really bad lag there. I don't know whether it's when everybody jumps online, but it always tends to be really bad when it gets later in the evening here in the UK. Mm -hmm. Unless this course has just got a shed load of objects in it and it just takes a yeah, really long too. time. See, this is another oh. one of those, those horrible greens. Two tier. Playing so horrible right now. Wow, that that's lagging midair. Can you believe it? Oh yeah, I'm watching your stream. It is. Oh. Stay up there. Nope. Well, get in there. Lovely. I'll take that. Oh, nice long putt there. Yeah, 22 feet. Nice. Is that for birdie? For birdie. Nice. You're back to level now. Back to level. Wish I could say the same. <laughs> Man, I was doing so well at the beginning, and now nothing. Stop the lagging. You know what, Tim? I don't. I don't think it. I think it's the course because I'm getting it bad now. Uh, that, that, there's an awful lot of things on the course. Yeah, it might be because that last yeah. course was running smooth as butter. Mm. Stutter, 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 stutter. Yeah, they're saying even in, even the Twitch stream is um, showing the stutter. 
I'm going to see it through because I need to uh, I need to finish the course. I mean, the course is nice, but if it's got that much stuff in it that it's causing it to play badly, then to me that I wouldn't I wouldn't go and play the course again. Yeah. Right. It's a nice looking course as well. That is a nice looking course. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my good God. That's going to be horrible. I've been playing so many ghost balls and stuff today. I haven't even played my two rounds yet in the tournaments. <laughs> Play the first one, I'm going to be saying. But... Oh, my good God. I've just shanked a three wood, 115 yards. I'm on my third shot and I've still got 182 yards to go. Oh, lag That's again. Very, very oh. mm, right in the bunker. Wow. I have a feeling another bogey's coming up here. Yeah. Oh man. You know what? This is almost as frustrating as playing with tour clubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I, I feel you on that one. I when I played with Mulster and then the other night with the tour clubs, I said, Yeah, that's one time and done for this guy. Never again. Nine holes and I'm three over par. Jesus. It even stutters when you zoom into the landing area. Yeah. Yeah, then that's the course then. That's not the server. No. Oh, Tim, you took a better line than I did. I'm to the left here. Nice shot. Yes. Yeah, I, driving's not been a problem. <laughs> it's putting that's letting me down today. My putting is absolutely dire today. Can't even zoom in. I think that, that, right. that you, you can struggle if you're playing a lot of courses that have different speeds. Yeah. Well, you, you can't get any kind of consistency. Well, I played uh, the one that I was testing out for somebody earlier had green speeds of 106. Have you ever played anything that slow before? No, no. Yeah, the Little Brook Manor's 106. Is it? It's been that long. And it was really, really, it was really, I mean, as he said it's about, he's put 150 hours into it and he's about 75% finished and he wanted me to have a play. And I tell you what, when it's finished, it's going to be a cracking Lynx course. I'll tell you that much for nothing. Oh, oh no, wrong level. All right, I'm going to rip it up on this back nine. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish under par. That's my. Uh, you heard it here first. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So Matt's saying. Apologies for the course, guys. My picker must be broken. <laughs> we didn't have as much problems on it the other night, so it's but it weird. it wasn't like this the other night, I promise you. It was not did you like play this other, other night, can I? I haven't played it. This is the first time I'm playing no. this course. Dwayne played Dwayne's it the other night. The other night. You sound very much like Rich Bean, Dwayne. Smack that in the bunker. Oh, it didn't go in the bunker. Did that run out of fairway. It's ridiculous. Uh, Jackie's actually published it um, as an unfinished course, 
and then he's going to release a version that is finished. That's a birdie and a par. I need two more birdies. What do we got? Par three. Let's see if we can smash this. Oh, oh, I'm not liking the look of that. Jeez, Louise. Ah, damn it, perfect fast. That's going to be nowhere near the goddamn hole. <laughs> oh, don't go in there. Yeah, George finished minus eight on the course we are playing right now. On this course? Yeah, he just, he's, play, he's playing beside me here. He's minus eight. He's playing so good, man. He is going to be like the ringer for the uh, USA team, I have a feeling. <laughs> is that is that Coquicoco? Coquicoco? Yeah, yeah Coquicoco. The Costa Rican guy. Well, he's actually from America, but he's got a Puerto Rican flag. Oh, Puerto Rican. <laughs> I've been playing with him a lot. Yeah, remind me to have a word with the captain that I don't get paired up with him then. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I just I just hit my tee shot in the one on the hole you just played, I I hit it within three feet. Nice. And I got a Wilson bounce, so that's why it got up there. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of that kind of thing. Uh, oh, you took yeah. it right over that tree, didn't you? Took it through the tree. <laughs> oh. But, uh, yeah, it uh, didn't put me in the greatest position. I, think I went I'm, around the tree. I think I'm going to play smart here now. I'm going to try and play smart, so let's put it that way. Yeah, that water's... I do dangerous. not think that that green at that distance is not accessible for me. Definitely not for me. It's 287. <laughs> I had 276, I think it was. Oh, I hooked it. some green to work with. Ooh, it is a cheat. Alright, we're coming back. We're coming back. Two birdies on the back nine. Ooh. Plus one. Wow, that's a short ass par four that is, but it is wrought with danger. Good thing danger's my middle name. <laughs> I'm going for it. Oh, I nearly went in the drink. head that way oh go ball I played the well, worst the green, I don't. chip shot ever <laughs> that should have been the easiest hole on the course but I've just completely balls it up 
Get in. Oh, round the houses, in the hole, back to level par. Told you I was going to finish underneath. I need one more birdie somewhere to finish under par. Stroke index one. Ain't going to be this chuffer, is it? Hmm, mind you, mind you. Ooh. Let's see if we can back do to back it. birdies for me, or uh, back to back to back for me. Let's see if we can do a Wilson here. Oh, that is, that's a definite Wilson, that is. Nice drive. Put a bit of draw on it, let the wind straighten it out. Oh. gets there is it on it's on but it's a damn long way away from the hole right 52 wow, feet straight left what in the world Come back now. Come back. Maybe not. What was I saying about finishing under par? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, are you kidding me? How did that not drop? All right, I'm back over par again. <laughs> The, the, the greens can get you on this on this course, that's for sure. Yeah. I was too far away on my second. Way too far away. Right, got a fairly short par five here, but I think this one could end up biting you in the arse if you're not careful. Oh, sloppy. Sloppy. Oh, well, that bunker is right in the way for me. Right, that at two nine four, I should be reaching this green in two. It's, yeah, two five four. Definitely going to be reaching it in two. It's whether I can hold it though. That's the problem. That's the first time I've done that. Set up, ball. Set up. Don't go down in there. <laughs> right, get up. Hit that bank. All right, now start to slow down a wee bit for me. Okay, that is going to leave me about 25 feet for eagle. 26 feet, but it's a horrible putt. It's right across the slope. That's all right, I'll put it within a couple of feet. Should be able to get back to level par. And then I've got two holes to play to get under par. Got to keep to my word. Got to keep to my word. Come left, come left. That's a really good round from you there, Dwayne. Four under at the moment. I appreciate it, thank you. Well, I, I've, I've gotten two really good bounces up by the flag, which helped me get an eagle, or I mean, a birdie and a birdie that I made a 45 foot putt on, so. 45 foot putt. They don't come along that often. <laughs> no. Right, that's going to bounce round to the left. That's going to give me a short shot into this green. Sub a hundred yards, gotta get it close. What am I doing? 
117. Oh my god, the green's like a flipping postage stamp. Not hardly, Jack. <laughs> I'm getting ready to, to, to double bogey here, so. Ah, you son of a... Oh, that just held the green. <laughs> just held the green, but it's a horrible putt again, and I need this one. Turn. Turn. That curved around the back of the hole. Can you believe that? All right, got one more hole to try and uh, come good on my promise to finish under par. Wow, look at all the red in there. Double, bogey, bogey, bogey. Three bogeys in a double. Oh, God. Right, I bogeyed that last one. Oh, the whole, shit. The, whole, the final hole is a bloody you. par three. I like the swimming pool that he's put in there. And he's got a golf club two diving board as well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's very cool. All right, this is going to be... Uh, one eight one one seven eight. So that is one eight eight. I need this to be close. <laughs> All right, it's fairly straight. No, it's going to be too long. It's going to be too long. It's going to fall off the green. Son of a gun! Ah, oh, I had to chip that in to get under par. So sorry, guys. I've let uh, I've let you all down. <laughs> I finish with a par. Finish level par through eighteen holes. I got one hole left, and I am three under right now. Yeah, you're going along nicely. What's the time? I've got one more course in me. I'm going to give that. I'm going to give that three stars. Sorry, Matt, but that uh, the lag on that killed that course for me. I'm afraid. Oh, that's poor. All right, let's search for this next one. I think most people have probably paid, played this one, but a big shout out to Ian Thompson who recommended this one to me. It's got a strange name, but everybody's raving about it. Teapot Point. Oh, yeah. We played that last night. Um, yeah, I've had a couple of people recommend this one to me. So... Let's see what it's like. Okay, so I've not found anything. I put teapot in. Oh, I probably put tea this point. Lag is making ruining my round. <laughs> Get in there. All right, I bogeyed the last, but I'm going to end up two over or two under. Two under, mm -hmm. under par, mate. That's uh, mm -hmm. wow. This has already had four hundred and one plays. Teapot kicked. Dwayne's butt. Lol. Oh my gosh. Yes, it did. Oh my gosh. Matt, you have to go and say that. <laughs> Let's hope it kicks his butt again. Are you guys sticking around for another round? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah, cool, absolutely. Cool. We do have spot for a fourth if somebody wants to join us. Um, I'm going to choose Blue Tees and Pin Set Number one teapot kick Dwayne's butt I like that <laughs> oh that was quick that loaded up quite nicely so that uh, suggests there's not an awful lot of objects on this 
Um, who needs a notification or have you guys received them? Um, I do. I've already got it. I've got mine. To... Uh, yours is incoming right now, James. Got it. And we are playing the Yeah, if anybody wants to jump into the fourth slot, we are playing Teapot Point. So this was recommended to me by Ian Thompson in the YouTube comments. So thank you very much for that, Ian. Let's see what this one's like. I'm just waiting for these other guys to jump in. That's me and the first two. All right, so I'm gonna have to drop. Yeah, I've got how many? I'm going to have to drop Ku's Hokey out, I'm afraid, and add, there we go, I've got everybody in my game. Alright, I'm on the first, let's hope I get a better result in this round. Mind you, if it kicked... Dwayne's but I'm not that hopeful. I just started the same way I did yesterday on this course by going right. <laughs> it's got in your head, and fella. I'm... It's in your head. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. At least I, <laughs> last time I was in the water. At least, at least this time it stopped. Unbelievable. Oh Jesus. That went off left. Who was that? Who's purple? Oh no, it's that's not too bad. You're still on the green, aren't you? Uh, just. <laughs> yeah, I have no consistency, Jack. None. All right, I've just stuck that about six feet from the flag, so that's got to be. That's got to be. Oh, you're kidding me. That ball turned the complete opposite way to the lines. I found that a few times today. Has done it. What? I've just bogeyed the hole from eight feet. I put it next to the flag, eight feet from my approach shot, and I've three putt bogeyed. That's ridiculous. I'm playing I'd like a complete bar. muppet tonight. But you you played so well in your tournament rounds, though. I have no idea what's going on. No idea. I've just hit a perfect fast now. I'm heading towards those bunkers. Yeah, I'm in the rough now. Jesus. Oh, I pulled that one. I might be joining you. Get up there. Perfect slow. That's not going to end well either. So I've gone from the rough to the bunker now next to the green. Uh... And now I've just... Uh, how, how on earth can you get spin out of a bunker? <sighs> Alright, I'm starting to lose the will to live now. <laughs> I'm going to end up with a double bogey on here. Ah... Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my good I god. Like I am having sound. an absolute meh tonight. 
I've just gone. That does not sound good, mate. Bogey, double bogey. Jesus. Plus three after two holes. Are you taking the piss? Jesus, James, where have you gone? Oh, I'm on the... <laughs> oh, I'm short. Get up, suit. How did I end up short? Hey, I got one back. Hold it back for a mile. Dang, go on it. That shows you how completely topsy-turvy my game is at the moment. Bogey, double bogey, birdie. On a par three to boot. <laughs> Boss man saying, Tim's playing like a mortal. <laughs> I am a mortal. <laughs> Not immortal, uh, amortal. Uh, wow, you're pulling everything at the moment, James. Yeah, yeah, I think that's Oh, come on, I need a Wilson bounce. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was heading towards those bunkers and it just took a sharp left and ended in the middle of the fairway. Oh, lag. Come on, this needs to be good. I've got two more shots oh, to man. make up. Oh, man, slow, fast. That mm. should be dead straight. No, it pushed it out a little bit to the left, and I even hit it straight. That was strange. Nice shot, Tim. All right, back-to-back -back birdies. Come on! <laughs> Mind you, I'm trying to chase you boys down. I've got Hell's Fire in my game as well, and he's two under par already through five, so he's having a blinding round. Ooh, this is a tricky hole. How much of this do you take on? Holy shit balls. <laughs> now you see why this one kicked my butt yesterday. Oh my god, I tell you what, if you got some big brass ones, you'd take a massive draw around that corner, wouldn't you? Yeah. I'm not so sure I've got big brass ones, no. There's <laughs> just not a lot of room there to, for mistakes. And the thing is, is if you get a kick anywhere, you're going to be in the drink, aren't you? Yeah. I think I was in the drink here yesterday, too. Oh, it's only I'm going to be in the drink again. It's only a short hole, though, isn't it? So you could really oh, lay up at no. about 195 or something like that. Don't do what I did. I just well, went down the hill and almost in the drink. All right, let's see how we end up. I went... Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Stop! Oh, shit, there you go. Okay, that's cool. Ooh. Yeah, you see, that went 225 with a 1954 iron, and it's left me 82 yards. See, I, I didn't. I, did, I played terrible there. Jeez. Three, a 79. Oh, I have no idea where this is going. Way left. Yeah, that's what I figured. <sighs> oh shit, that's way long. Wow. Oh well, it's not going to be a birdie on this one, that's for damn sure. So, I got some drum. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I wasn't far off after all that. Oh, in for par. Did we all end up with par there? Or did you drop one, Yeah, Brian? I got it. No, I got a par. I was lucky. No, I I was just happy to hit the green from where I was off the side of the hill there. I had like a 55 foot putt or something. Looks like everybody's going for this. I don't know. Oh, 285. 285. 270. 279. Yeah, I don't think I can no, get there. No, it's two, uh, 278, yeah. isn't it? I can't get there with uh, player clubs. No, that's that's too risky. It's another short hole. It's, what have you got to lose? You might as well just take a short iron into the that fairway on the right. That's oh, what I'm really? doing. <laughs> oh, you just pulled it again, James. <laughs> I just heard it go plop. Yeah. See the wee plug interferes with my, my swing, or oh, the, the headphone jack. You what? The, the headphone jack interferes with the way I hold the controller. Yeah. We were laughing about the, about the different types of swing the other night when you used it. You know, you were, I tried yours to flick. Oh yeah. I hold, I hold my controller with my forefinger and thumb of my right hand. And hit it with uh, my poor finger and thumb of my left hand. Jeez, there's so many different ways people swing the club, isn't there? That's crazy. I've I've changed three times since I've had the game. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I just came up short there. That was terrible. Shouldn't come up short from 83 yards. It's ridiculous. I'm just gonna have to chip it in. It and it's rolling away. Damn! Oh, return. What a save, I think. <laughs> no, I don't know. It was past. Wow, you just rolled a good ways by, Tim. I did. I've just saved a. Um, I've just saved an eleven footer. I've consolidated a bit though. A couple of birdies, couple of pars after that nosebleed on the first two holes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a skinny this bit. One. This, this one yesterday, I triple bogey, just to let you know. I got a triple bogey eight. Jesus, that doesn't fill me with confidence, mate. <laughs> Holy shit, a triple bogey eight. Yeah. The way I'm playing at the moment, that just makes me shit myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, don't go in the bloody bunker, man. Two one six oh. twenty four two two o eight. How I was going to say, how difficult can that be? But I shouldn't say that because I know it's going to end up biting me in the ass again. Well, I hit it in the water, so if that tells you yesterday, then I then it would put me in a really bad spot and I couldn't get out of it. Let's see if we can tame this beast. It's a par five, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we, I came up short. I think that's the place to be. Good bunker shot, I'll take that. If that goes in the bunker... Oh. Jeez. Alright, I've got a birdie putt. I've got a birdie! Ee -hee, I'm back to level par. Down ball. Wow, Hell's Fire is five under par. He's not dropped a set. Mind you, you haven't dropped a shot yet, Dwayne. No, I haven't. I'm playing this course a lot better than I did yesterday. That's for sure. <laughs> I think I was. I don't know, Matt. Matt, what was I yesterday? 
terrible by the sounds of it. <laughs> well, it was though. It was it was beyond terrible. <laughs> I think I was eleven over. I, to be honest, I don't remember. Eleven over. Oh yeah, it was bad. Wow. I mean, I I think, and that was when I was hooking everything, and I think I was in the water four or five times. The only course I played that badly on was that dodgy one that I played yesterday, I think. That one with oh. the skinny fairways. Have you seen that one? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Jeez. All right, 162. There's six. 156. Wind behind. Downhill slope. Come on, be good. Ah, bite, I need you to bite, I need you to bite. God love us. Don't say 11 over like you're surprised. That's where I'm headed. That's Rich LP 68. <laughs> Vlad the Myrtle, worst, is 20 over. I can't remember what I shot on that course. Do you remember what I shot on that skinny fairway one? Was it seven? Yeah, it was. It Nine was, over or something like that? Yeah, it wasn't, I don't think it was, it wasn't double digits. It was brutal though. It was really difficult. Plus he said, he, he, um, he to me in the comments, he said, when I saw you choose the black tees, he said he, he, he knew I was in for trouble. Let's see, let's see job, I just birdied that one. So that is me under par for the first time. It's only taken me eight holes to try and recover that absolute nightmare start. All right, now it's time to catch Hell's Fire up. Not bloody likely. Right. I might be dropping a bot shot here and go back to even, I don't know. Really? Yeah, I don't know unless I can make this putt. But... Oh, I saved it. Yes. Oh, that's a good shot. If that works out how I want it to, that little bit of draw should... Yes. Oh, yes, I'll take that. Oh, nice, Ooh. nice drive. I just looked down there and saw you guys. All right, this hey, is... a keyboard shot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get the keyboard out, tap it with my big toe. Yeah. That's what everybody thinks I'd do anyway, so. <laughs> May as well just feed the fire. One, seven, seven, three. Uh, oh no, that came up short. Ah, oh, I did the same thing as you. I ended up in the bunker though, James. I may be dropping that shot that I just got. <laughs> oh, another par save. Wow. Mm, what what kind of nonsense is this? Oh, wait. Is this the hole that... Did it off? 72, so that's 15, that's, uh, sorry, no, 24 off 150, oh, yes. so that's 126 into the wind. Yeah, that's 126 downhill. I remember this one yesterday. It was awful. Wow, how did that come up so short? Mm. Yep, I came up. I'm right there with you, man. Ah, don't 
can't. Oh, I've just lipped out. Are you absolutely kidding me? Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, damn it. That's me drop to shot now, back to level par again. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Wilson. Get a grip tonight. Oh, I just dropped one as well, man. It just lift around the entire hole. Oh. Mine turned 90 degrees around the hole as well. Yeah. Have you tried tour clubs yet, Tim? Yeah, I have for about three or four rounds and then went straight back to these. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I lasted no one round. That's all I lasted. So. Oh, that might be in the bunker. There. Okay, now bite. Ah, jeez. Yeah. Oh, mate. So Jack says, why can you struggle on the weekends like this, Tim? So I might be able to beat you like Martin. Boss Man UK. Tim, you're driving on point tonight. Just your putter's letting you down. Mate, tell me something I don't know. It's, it's killing me. It's killing me. I just went in the water, so here goes my bad round. And my putter is normally the thing that gets me out of jail a lot of the time. That makes me really mad. Oh, man, it's jump under there. You got a birdie there, James? Yeah. Oh, nice one. What in the world am I doing? I can plus two. <laughs> oh, dear. This is going to be my eight. Here we go. <laughs> Almost, not even on the green, and I'm hitting my sixth shot. Wow. I don't know whether to take my five wood there. I think that being downhill, that's going to run out. What do you uh, take, James? A one iron. A one iron. Uh, carry a one iron. A one iron. And that's uh, almost run out, yeah? Yeah. Uh, about, about 10, oh, and I yards. just got a yeah. stupid blue screen. Uh. Well, I, got, I got one of them today, in the middle of the playing my, my tournament round. It happens all the time now. It's getting worse and worse. They have mm. got to fix it. from one under to two over in one hole. All right, bite. Thank you. All right, I might, might have an opportunity to get that drop shot back here. Oh. No, I've missed it. Jeez. December, Ty Cobb 99, I'm burning teapot up. Sweet. I'm not, it's burning me up. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Jack. Thanks for joining, mate. All right, hole 13. I've still got holes to uh, try and get this back. Okay, you should try that here. He really likes this... Um, these sort of stunted fairways, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't mind that. That's kind of. I'm a whole. I'm a whole bunch of holes behind you guys now. Stupid blue screen. The thing is, is that the stunted fairways make you. They force you to club down. Yeah, you think about it.
These courses have not been kind to you tonight, Tim. Tell me about it, mate. Tell me about <laughs> it. All right, I'm going to go in here. Oh, with a... my gosh. It just blue screened again. Really? Yes. At the same point. Like, it came back on the course, and then it went right back off. I might not get through this round, guys. What you've got to hope for is if it puts you a few holes further back so you don't get that uh, that eight. <laughs> that happened yesterday. <laughs> or it didn't ha that didn't happen, but I was... I was on the green and I hadn't even putted yet. And when I came back from the blue screen, it was it, it putted for me and it went in the hole. <laughs> You'll take those all day long. Yeah, San Diego says my PS might be overheating. Yeah, well, that wouldn't surprise me. I have it standing up. I don't. Wow, have my down. putting is absolutely one word shit tonight. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Oh, my God. Did you miss it again? I missed another one. But there was no lines on the screen. And it moved. Oh, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> I got a bogey there. I'm back to bloody plus one again. Thank God we've got a par five. <laughs> we get a jump cap. Uh, it's a download, San Diego. Right, let's see if we can get. Oh shit! Get, <laughs> get through the tree. Ooh, that was close. I thought I was going to hit the tree right mid trunk. Did you go right hand side of the tree? Uh, not on oh, purpose. What a Wilson bounce that I, was. I, I aimed. Watching... <laughs> I aimed left of the tree and went right, <laughs> right of the tree. Go go go! Come on, this this needs a good bounce. Oh, is that the bounce? Oh, is that? Ah, oh, get up there, you son of a gun! What in the world? It just put me two inches from the hole, and I haven't <laughs> hit yet. <laughs> what? Come on, roll down. Roll down. Yeah, that's the right okay. score, though. Okay, that was weird. Oh, doing. Oh. Yeah. All right. I'm back to level par, boys. I've got to hold it here for four holes now. <laughs> I just want to be able to catch up a little bit here. I'm back to two over par. Oh, the club. This is what happened to me yesterday. 50. Eight mile an hour wind. It's got to be that club. Oh. Here. Come on, be the club. Be the club. That'll yeah. do. That will do very nicely. Will you ever do an all day stream? Jeez. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine all day golf? <laughs> I would do an all day stream. I have to be honest with you. I would love to do an all day stream. It's just I have a, um, I have a job. Yeah, and a family, and <laughs> I have a job, and I have a, um, a family, and uh, it's difficult. Um, I think I am going to try and do one. I mean, I say all day. I mean, I'll probably need to. Um, need to take breaks every now and again. I'd like to do it. I like the idea of it, but I think I would have to plan it a little bit more. <laughs> um, yeah, I have, no, it's not that I have a life because I, you know what, if, if I could, you know, if I, let me put it to you this way. If I didn't have a full-time job, no, not even if I had a full, if I didn't have a full-time job, if I had, um, if I wasn't married and I didn't have a family and 
I could take a day's holiday from work, I would do a 24 hour stream. I would do it on a Friday through to a Saturday morning. Um, but well, like from a Friday morning to a Saturday morning, but I just, I just can't do it. I cannot do it at the moment. I could probably try like a, an all day stream on a Saturday, but I'd have to get it past the boss first. <laughs> yep. Oh, I know that one. That's why I'm getting as much golf in as I can now, because once school starts, I won't be playing much at all. <laughs> There is no way you will get there on that second shot. Oh, Jesus. Did you try it? I did. Uh, we left. My... Where the hell did you go? <laughs> oh, out of bounds. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Well, listen, Liam. Don't be I was going to say it was 245 and then you had 10, yard, 10 yards of um, to allow for elevation. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was in those rocks yesterday so I had to take unplayable so that was another thing. Is Matt, is Matt a teacher as well? No. Oh, Matt's... Shit. um. Because he says, same for me too, Dwayne, once back to school, not playing much. Other than oh, I think he's taking college classes or something. Oh, is he? Okay, cool. 79. I'm going to have to go over these trees, aren't I? I'm going to have to go up and over these trees. Oh, don't shit. Oh, that worked out all right, actually. I, f I thought I had a normal shot and I had a pitch shot and it went straight through the tree. <laughs> oh, wow. He's doing a bad search in mechanical engineering. He's going to be a, an engineer. Uh-oh. Well, maybe you can work for HB Studios and fix some of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's three birdies on the bounce. I'm now two under par, boys. Two holes to play. Oh, I'm having a Two out of Hell's fire just finished eight under on this course. He's on. He is on fire tonight, literally. Yeah. This is another one of these oh. short stop fairways. Mind you, it's another sh short hole as well. Are you back in yet, Dwayne? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I finally, I'm trying to catch up. I'm on hole 15. Oh. A 15? That's no, you're not far way. behind. I think I'm on 17 now. Yeah. Sorry, am I on 17 or 16? Yeah, you just, you're, I think you just teed off on 17. 17, yeah. Wow, look at the size of that green. Are you taking the piss? 13, 136. But that came up woefully short last time, didn't it? <laughs> Did you end up in the bunker, uh, James? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Please, please. All right. Please be on the green. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Oh! And he just misses holding out from 145 yards by about an inch. Oh, wow, I just saw it on the stream, wow. <laughs> I'm glad I took that extra yardage. Get in. Oh, I just lipped out again. Come on, man. Oh. A little place rock. <laughs> Have you just bounced off the rocks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you go in the drink? Not quite, no. 
I am not going into the rocks this time, so I am going to lay up. Learn my lesson from yesterday. Right, one hole to play. Par four, 436. Ooh, it's downhill, so we sh that shouldn't be a problem. He says. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, it's no problem. Get over there. No bother. Ni bother. One twenty six. That green is horrible. That green is absolutely horrible. If you're I just anywhere made a left, one foot putt. You just what? I just made a fifty-one foot putt for a birdie. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that eighteenth green is brutally horrible. Oh, that needs to sit. Oh, please don't go out of the fairway. That. I need to hit this straight. And it needs to die. I couldn't have hit it much straighter than that. It needs to... Oh, shit. Is it too long? Get down, you son of a bitch. No! I've hit the slope. <laughs> I was a little too long and it's gone down the slope. The 17th is brutal. That's yep. the one that I almost hold out on, isn't it? Yeah, and I just came up about 15 feet short. Get up the slope. Uh, now stop. Jesus. But I made birdie. <laughs> nice. Yes. Okay. Okay, I am finished at two under par. I will take that on that course. And I'm going to give that, I'm going to give it four stars. Um, and the re I'm going to favourite it. The reason I give it four and not five is because although I don't mind those split fairways, I, I don't think you should do a whole course with split fairways. And that's the reason for me giving it a four. But that's just me being brutal. Yeah, thanks, Boss Man UK. Yeah, cheers, fellow. You off? Thank you for joining us. Did you finish 10 over par there, <laughs> James? Yeah, 16 and 17, a 10 and an 8. Wow, you got a 10? A 10. That a bounce twice. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm finishing now, so yeah. getting ready to hit the I'll just hit the green. I'll wait for you to finish and then I'll uh I'll say Fine goodnight off. to the stream. That's uh that's three courses I can uh take off my list. I've got um links of the four golfers to do. Um Palo Verde Golf Club. Um LTGS Loon Lake. Yeah, that's the one I sent you. Yeah, that's the one you sent me. And then somebody somebody contacted me directly through the PlayStation Network and said, The Tiger and the Dragon, that's his first course that he's done. So I want to check that one out. Really? Well. I've never heard of that one. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to check that one out. And then the one that the guy asked me to play, I don't know whether you guys want to play it. It's like a, it is a Lynx course. It's still got some work to be done on it, but it's called Royal St. June's Unfinished. Yeah, I saw that. I think I'm going to play that with George and uh, Jack tonight. Yeah, it's, um, it, it, he's got some work to do on it and he, he knows he's got some work to do on it. And I pointed out some bits and pieces. Just be prepared to play into a lot of greens where the hole actually sits on a crown. Um, uh, okay. But the greens are slow. So the good thing is, is that you can fire at the pins quite, you can, if you can get within sort of two or three feet of the flag, that really doesn't impact on your round. Um, mm. I think I shot, I shot under par. I think I shot 
two or three under par, something like that. Um, whereas the guy that created it, his best round is plus nine on his own course. Oh, so wow. it is, it's a Lynx course. There's not a tree in sight. Um, it, is, it, it, it has the makings of being a really nice Lynx course. Um, mm. But he says he just needs to start doing things like tweaking and putting objects and stuff like that. So, yeah. All righty. Well, I finished him, so cool. I got uh, I was two under there. All right, James. Nice to uh, nice to have you in the party. Nice to meet you, my friend. Um, I've seen you playing a uh, playing a lot of the courses that we've been playing. So, thank you very much for joining us, Dwayne. As always, it's been a pleasure, chap. And, Appreciate um, it, sir. I will catch up with you guys very, very soon. And to all of you that have been watching in uh, on Twitch, thank you very much for tuning in. For those of you that are watching on YouTube, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Pop some comments in the box below and some more recommendations because I'm getting through these ones quite quickly. And if you'd like to subscribe to the YouTube channel, the button's somewhere over there. But until next time, guys, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.